Hi everyone, I'm Suraj Ramesh, Principal Product Manager for the OCA Fullstack DR at Oracle. In this video, we will discuss about how OCA Fullstack DR can help to automate the disaster recovery runtime operations like switchover and failover for the Oracle WebLogic server deployed in OCI. Setting up the Oracle WebLogic server, the production and the DR environment is out of the scope of this video. You can refer to this documentation for more details how you can set up the WebLogic server in the both production and the DR region. It is assumed you have an working WebLogic setup, the production and in the DR region with all the replication is configured and running properly. We have used this architecture for deploying the WebLogic server in the production and in the standby region. So as part of our demo, our production region is Ashburn the standby region is Phoenix. For the Oracle database, the Oracle data guard will be used for synchronizing the data across the region. And for the WebLogic domain, we have used the rsync utilities to do the synchronization between the primary and the standby region. So let's start creating the DR protection groups and then we'll move on. So I'm in the Ashman region. I'm going to create the DR protection group. I'm giving a name, selecting the compartment, selecting the object storage bucket and then hit create. In parallel, I'm going to create another DR protection group, the Phoenix region. Give a name, select the compartment, select the object storage bucket and then hit create. Now let's associate the DR protection groups. Select the protection group in the Ashburn region, hit associate, select the role uh, we have to select this primary region the peer region is phoenix and select the dr protection group and hit associate so now the association is done the ashpen drpg is primary and the phoenix drpg is standby so now let's start adding the members which is part of this weblogic stack so for the primary region uh, we have two virtual machines and then the database server. Similarly, the standby region, we have the two virtual machines where the WebLogic server is running and we have the standby database. So we need to add these members in the, both the protection groups. So go to the members in the primary protection group, add members, select the database type, and then hit uh, the Oracle based database type. So that's the database we are using. And then select the database system, database home, database, and the password for the database and hit add. So similarly, you can add the compute members in the primary DRPG. So the database member has been added now. So now I'll be adding the compute members. Select the resource type compute, click here. And being this is an active passive architecture for the WebLogic stack, we have to uncheck the move instance. So select the compute instance where the WebLogic stack is running. So we have two compute instance, WebLogic WLS0 and 1. So I'll be adding the first instance here, which is WLS0. Make sure you're not clicking this move instance. So this will be applicable only if you're following the whole VMDR pattern and hit add. So the WLS0 compute node has been added. So I'll be adding the second node, select compute check this box and set the instance which is WLS1 make sure you are unchecking this box and hit add so with this I have added my necessary members part of my primary logic stack so I'm going to do the same thing in the standby DRPG region go to the members and add the member select the database type and then select the base DB deep and then select the DB system DB home database name and the database password where your password has been stored and hit add. So the database standby database member has been added here and now I'm going to add the compute instance. Select the compute, select the instance where the WebLogic stack is running. So I have two nodes, I have to add both and make sure you're unchecking this box and hit add. So the first compute node has been added. So I'll be adding the second compute node select the instance name WLS1 and uncheck this box and hit add. So with this we have added the members in the standby DRPG. 
So we have necessary members added both in the primary DRPG and in the standby DRPG. So the next step would be to create the switchover plan. So now let's create the switchover plan. So I'm in the standby DRPG. As you're aware, the DR plans has to be created only from the standby DRPG. Select create plan, give a name, and select the plan type as switchover, and hit create. So the plan has been created now. You can see we have the automated built-in pre-checks, and the switchover database plan group has also been created. Now we have to add multiple user-defined groups as part of the Blogix server switchover. So I need to create uh, four user-defined groups as part of my uh, switchover process. The first one uh, would be to create the WebLogic domain replication from the IAD region to the Phoenix region. And the second user-defined group would be to create the WebLogic domain replication, which is the final sync, which does the final synchronization to the Phoenix region. And the third user-defined group would be to stop the WebLogic services in the Ashburn region. And the final one would be to start the WebLogic services in the Phoenix region. So let's go ahead and create all the four user-defined group. So click Add Group, give a name, WebLogic Domain Application IAD to Phoenix. Hit Add Step. In the step, I'm going to run the config replica script. So run config replica to IAD to Phoenix. And enable the step, select the error mode as stop on error, default timeout seconds, and I'm going to execute this script in the Ashburn region. So this will be the WebLogic server, my primary node, where the synchronization will be done from my uh, primary node to the file storage server in the Ashburn region. So run the local script and select the script, uh, basically the instance, first instance, where we need to execute the and hit provide the username. I want to run it as Oracle. So make sure you provide the right script name, the right parameters, and then the respective user you want to run the script. And hit add step. So once the step has been added, you can add this plan group. If you have multiple steps, you can add it in the same plan group. But as part of this one, I'm just going to add one step and hit add. So this step has been added. Basically, this plan group has been created. I'm going to add the next set of uh, user-defined plan groups. The next one would be to do the WebLogic domain, WebLogic domain replication, final sync, and hit add step. And in the step, I'm going to give a name, run config replica final sync. And the error mode, I'm going to use stop on error time mode would be the default uh, here i need to run the final sync script from the phoenix region so select the phoenix region and select the local script and select the target instance which would be the uh, primary node of the weblogic cluster in the phoenix region and provide the script parameter and provide the username and hit add step and once this is added you can add the plan group I'm going to create the plan group for stopping the WebLogic server in the Ashman region. Select the add step. Stop WebLogic server services and then the node name and select the error mode, which is stop on error. Select the region where you want to stop the WebLogic services. So this will be the Ashman region and select the run local script and select the target instance where you want to run this script. And then the parameter section provide the script name and then provide the username as Oracle and hit add step. So once the step is added, you can add the plan group. So I'm going to create the next plan group, which is the starting my WebLogic services in the Phoenix region. Um, hit add steps and provide a step name stop web logic services and the node name and then select the error mode which is stop on error select the region where you have to select the phoenix region that's where we are going to start the web logic services 
and the local script and select the target instance which is our first node and provide the script name so now we have to start the script so basically starting the services so provide the parameters as start and provide the user as oracle and hit add step so now the step has been added and we can add the plan group we order this plan groups so that uh, i can do in a specific order what i want to do as part of the secure process so you can go to the actions tabs and then click reorder groups so i want to move this to uh, as part of the domain configuration and then before switching the databases i want to stop my weblogic services and then switch over the database and finally start the weblogic services in the phoenix region so this is the order in which the plan groups i want to execute so the full stack dr plan has the complete flexibility of moving around the plan groups as per your requirement and hit save changes now we have the plan created and customized as part of the weblogic server switchover process so now we can do the pre-checks execution so uh, run pre-checks and provide a name and hit run pre-checks so the pre-checks will be able to tell you all the pre-checks which is required to to be done as part of this plan execution so we'll wait for a few seconds for this to complete so the pre-checks has been completed successfully for the switch over plan now let's verify the weblogic application and the sample app before we brew the switch over so this is my weblogic uh, console in the primary region you can see all my services are running fine in the ashman region and the sample app uh, is also accessible so now we can go ahead and do the actual plan execution go back to the dr protection group and select the plan and then hit execute plan so if you want you can enable the pre-checks or else we can skip this since i've just done that i'm going to skip this so give a plan name so i'm going to give the wls short plan hit execute plan so we can monitor for a few minutes and then we'll see the progress of the switch over now my switch over has completed uh, notice all the plan groups has been completed successfully it took 16 minutes to complete the logic server stack switch over from the ashman region to the phoenix region once the switch over is done uh, you notice the the plan group status would also been changed so now the phoenix is primary and then if you notice the ash burn which will be standby so now let's quickly verify the applications uh, which is running in the phoenix region so my this is my weblogic uh, admin console so the, the since the application is up the weblogic server is accessible from the phoenix region and uh, while i log in you can also verify the sample app which is now accessible from the phoenix region so let's quickly check the logic services so all my weblogic services are running in the phoenix region so now we have done the switch over plan from the ashburn region to the phoenix region now let's do a failover plan from the phoenix region to the ashburn region so we have to create the plan in the standby region which is the ashburn region so go back to the uh, DR protection group click plan give a plan name so I'm going to do the failover plan from the Phoenix to Ashman region make sure to select the plan type failover and hit create so the plan has been created successfully let's verify the plan groups we have the built-in pre-checks and there is a plan group created for the failing out of the database so now let's add a user defined plan group so since we are going to do a failover uh, we'll be just failing out the databases and starting all the weblogic services in the phoenix uh, in the ashburn region so provide a group name which is basically to start the weblogic weblogic services in the ashburn region and add a step and provide this step name start weblogic services in the server zero and select the error mode which is basically stop an error select the region where you want to execute the script select the instance and provide the parameters and then provide the username 
So we are going to start the WebLogic services in the Ashburn region, node 0, and hit Add Step. And once this is done, you can create the plan group. So the plan group has been created successfully, and this is the right order I want to start uh, the failover task, so we don't need to reorder anything. So we can now execute the run prechecks. So give a name. And hit run prechecks. So we'll wait for a few seconds to complete. So the prechecks has been completed successfully. Now let's execute the failover plan. Select the plan name and give the plan execution name. And hit execute plan. And let's monitor for a few minutes for this to complete. So the failover plan has been completed successfully. As, as you can see, it took 8 minutes, 35 seconds to complete the failover plan. So we have transitioned the application from the uh, Phoenix region to the Ashman region with a failover plan. Let's verify the application as well. So I can see my WebLogic services are running. And also I can able to open the sample lab. So with this, we have seen how we can use full stack DR to perform the switchover and failover of the WebLogic server application deployed in OCI across two regions. Thank you for watching.